So that's my secondary transmission cooler. I had the transmission shop run lines from the return from the factory into that and from that into the transmission. What's been happening is I get uh, overtemped on my transmission during these long, steep climbs and hot summer temperatures in Colorado. So what I did was I found a secondary transmission cooler and ran it in series. The brand is Earl's Performance Cooler. It's a little pricey, I think about $300 for it, but what I found was it mounts perfectly to the bracket that the, uh, the horn mounts to. And I didn't have to do anything. I put some rubber spacers in there, used the factory bolts, and as you can see, it's uh, pretty solid in here. You know, I'm not, you don't want it to be rigid anyway, but I'm not really worried about it. I had the transmission shop do the lines though because I was worried about doing that myself. This uh, comes with a fan and I'm going to just run a wire to a switch to it and be able to turn it off and on manually. I did buy a thermal on and off switch to run in the line, but I figured that would just be an additional leak point and decided not to use it. So, um, you know, those of us that have the Avid bumpers, we have problems with uh, cooling and airflow, so I figured this would help out. Best solution I could figure out, but uh, I'm really happy with the way it mounted on that bracket up there. And uh, with the fan, it doesn't really seem to be, it won't be an issue for, as far as getting airflow onto it. It's a pretty strong fan. I'll try to get a video of it on once I get the wires figured out for the switch. Okay, so the fan is hooked up now. Did the best I can with it. Um, simple switch from AutoZone. It's temporary right there. I found out that I have a small circuit breaker behind this and these buttons or these spaces are actually empty. I might try to figure out a way to make the, the switch over there. But for now, it's down there and uh, it works. Pretty good little setup. I used a simple power from my amp, ground from my amp. It doesn't turn on without that. There's also a solenoid in there that I used and uh, simple grounds like that. That's it. Hopefully this will help the transmission stay cool while we're wheeling around out here in Colorado in the summertime. I forgot to mention, this is the wiring kit I got from AutoZone, um, made for auxiliary lights. I kind of had to figure it out because obviously I'm not running lights, but uh, got it figured out so it should really, I don't know, assist on the amp draw, I guess. But yeah, you can get that at AutoZone, 11 bucks, and that's how I got it wired up.